the idea today was to sit and let people express what they needed for the, the upcoming semester or what had just started in social sciences. I realized that I'm early in the game because of course I could have just kept it for October, but I wanted to make sure that if there was anything going on, if there was any anxiety going on with the new programs, and I say programs because now there are no longer the history courses and the finance courses, economics courses that existed because they all closed. And now people have to, if not already offering it, they have to resort to contemporary world or financial education. Some did not offer it because they were resorting to the old courses and they were doing just fine with those. Now that there are two courses that are now replacing all of that, plus the, the, the sec four, uh, sec three, sec four history, the big four codes course, I was thinking that maybe people would have a need to express their needs for what's going on and what, what they have to offer or what they've started offering, because in some cases it's already started. And that's why I, I gave it a go for September, even though I thought it was a little early to do so. So since there are no teachers that are with us at this time, I wanna hear from you. If you heard from anyone at your board or around, uh, not, not around in France, obviously, but if you heard uh, of any needs that may, be, uh, that may be present or prevalent in your boards or in some of your centers regarding history or the other two courses. Um, well, for RSB, we have started offering the uh, HSG 4101, okay. and then yep. soon we will offer 4102. Okay. Um, but it was perhaps a bit preemptive because there are no English versions of the exam. Yet. Coming up, coming up soon, by the way. How soon? Because I was going to start translating. Shook hands with someone from the ministry last week. And their that, potential date was like, they they didn't have a date, but they said that they were expecting it to be uh, they said Matt, they would be very surprised if it went over two weeks to a month because and that seems aw awful when you think about it, but they are translated, uh, validated, and they are at, in the sanctions hands right now. Okay. So it's just about to be to be okay, right I think. I think our teacher would need to offer the exam mid-October. So like uh, a okay. month would be too I, far. Two weeks would be fine. We would wait. 4101 um, BIM, the one we yeah. that was worked on, might be ready earlier because it was, uh, they were looking to make sure that it was going to be ready by the end of next week. But I, I'm going to check. Okay. Don't take my, don't take Krampus uh, of cash until I check with class to see. But the, okay. it may, 4101 may be ready. That version may be ready because we did it, remember, simultaneously. We did the French and English at the same time. So it's only okay. a matter of checking for a few uh, little copyright things. I'll check with CLAF tomorrow and I'll get back to you. So Okay, perfect. So that going, mean, sorry. So that you're offering it. Yeah, we are offering it. So just to make sure I'm understanding correctly, there mm -hmm. is a ministry prototype that yep. exists that will soon be released in English yep. and a BIM. So we will have multiple options for 4101 and potentially You'll have 4102. 4102, there will, there, they are working on a French ex, uh, version C in French at BIM. Okay. We haven't been called upon to, to do it at the same time they are. Uh, they might just translate it once it's done. Okay. So I'll yeah, check if I didn't have to do all this translation work, that would be awesome. Of course. <laughs> and that's why I, I keep, I mean, I was on, I was emailing Lucy and emailing Chantal and emailing everybody and their fathers and mothers and everybody. <laughs> and last week at Proceed, we were introduced to uh, someone from the ministry who reassured us that it was really, really, really coming up sooner uh, than just, yes, at some point it's taking its course. We're mm -hmm. getting more of a soon now, which Perfect. is. So it's looking better. But how are people uh, coping so, with the new version? Yeah, we only have one teacher who's teaching it, Cameron McLeod. Fabienne, I don't know if you've met him. Um, no. So he uh, was on the ministry 
working group to create the exam. So he's um, pretty familiar with what the evaluations are going to look like, which is definitely an advantage. Um, we were working on developing a pretest for his students that was like, cause he's, he's teaching 4101 right now. And so reworking some of the stuff that he already has so that we're being really explicit about the intellectual operations that in the pretest the students are gonna see those grids. So that's, um, but for the next one, 4102, he wants to be like more explicit about the intellectual operations, like from the get go in his teaching that okay. everything that he does is going to be um, from starting with the intellectual operations and also the competencies. Um, and on that note, the Resitus, I'm going to grab the link here, uh, developed like uh, Paul, Paul has, Rumbo has a whole bunch of stuff in English, but the Resitus I found has some really great resources to like inspire yourselves from. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, for um, the intellectual operations and the competencies. So I will yep. drop them in the chat. Super. Uh, by the way, uh, Fabienne was uh, in a working group with, uh, with us in, uh, in the late spring. Yeah. And we were working on a framework, what we called it a framework. Uh, we wanted to um, prepare something that teachers could use and uh, that they could use on a day-to-day -day basis or over uh, on a longer period. So uh, this may be something that you and Cameron find interesting. Uh, we're not, we were not ready to present the whole thing yet because I need to speak with Shanna first uh, and we needed to set it up. However, I mean, uh, Fabienne, if you're okay with it, and uh, if you're not, uh, if you don't have any problem with, it, we could maybe take a look at 4102 or send it to you and see what you, uh, what you find interesting in there and what you could maybe use, uh, adapt or, or maybe I don't know, include in in how you're planning. I don't know, Fabienne, thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Go ahead. I mean, share whatever we've. Like, I feel like it was just the beginning. We haven't gone very far, but uh, yeah, for sure. Well, we, uh, when we looked at everything in, in uh, July to make sure it was ready before the vacation, the vacation started, uh, we were ready to, almost ready to present it, to have a, an après cours, some kind of session and announce that we were gonna share this. Uh, we just wanted everybody to be back uh, at, at school and then everything kind of, of course, piled up on each of our plates, but we're just about ready to at least meet and make a decision on that. So if you want, we can share that with you, Emily, and you could take a look. Okay. If it could be useful, then awesome. It's, it's, a, it's a tool to plan your course, to plan your day-to-day -day lessons, um, a little bit like what we had done in our working group with Alex's help, but Great. more uh, more framework. Like you, we give you this, this big, I'd say with this canvas, this template, and you can just remove and replace or use it as is or just adapt as you go. Okay. So I'll make Sounds sure good. to send it if it could be useful. Are there any, is there anyone else teaching other social science classes or courses in your uh, school board, in your centers? Um, he's also teaching contemporary world. Okay. Um, He's taught that one for a few years now. So that one isn't, isn't like a big, uh, not a big concern burden at this point. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would, do you think he'd be interested in taking part? Because we have, uh, we're putting together a working group to prepare something for 5102. So if he is interested in working uh, on, on a project, uh, we have someone from Lester B that's interested as well. So um, if that would be something that interests us, I mean, his expertise and, and, and uh, knowledge and, and know-how can definitely be uh, helpful for, uh, for that particular- For sure, purpose. yeah. If, there, if you have like a little write-up to send yep. me that I could forward sure. to him, definitely yep. I'll, I'll let him know. Table. It's on my list of to-do. Great. So, good. Any, anything in the ECM? Uh, nope, we're not teaching that. Um, okay. When? There is a teacher who teaches some sort of financial something, some unsanctioned course, um, mm -hmm. that <laughs> he will be retiring next year. And so I hope yeah. that 
then we would offer the financial education and maybe mm -hmm. even, I don't know who, if it's going to be you, Julie, or somebody else, whatever, the entrepreneuriat courses that have been talked about, I think those would marry really nicely with the financial ed. Um, yeah. I, I haven't been given any information as to who's going to have it on their man, in their mandate. Okay. Uh, and if it's even going to be on, uh, on us or on the uh, FB side, not sure. So we'll see Ooh. how it goes. Because it sounded more like FB related, but mm. there's more, there, there's definitely more to do with. I mean, we can do a lot of it, a lot of stuff, in, interesting stuff with it. So I will ask, definitely ask on my side, just to make sure. Good. Anything else, madam? Uh, I don't have anything from... to contribute at this point because I don't know who's offering what. So I'm trying, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm trying to I understand get that. information <laughs> as I can right now before I do my sweep of who's offering what, what's yes, going yes, on yes. in those centers. Absolutely. But if you ever, I mean, even if it's not now, I mean, in the next few weeks or so, whenever you see that there's something, I know that the uh, Les PNU were working on, they're interested in giving uh, financial education. They were interested in giving financial education. And I remember speaking with René Labbé and Andy at the time and looking at, into a glossary of terms to help with the First Nations. Uh, sometimes their, the vocabulary level can be, can be uh, challenging and so on. So they, were, they had started working on a glossary for, for, uh, for financial education. And uh, you may, uh, there, you can check with her, but I do have access to it if ever it still exists and they keep, they kept working on it. Um, so there, there may have been something, it was brewing anyway, so I don't know if they're actually going to go through with it or wait another semester, uh, but there was an interest for, uh, for, uh, for economic, we'll see how it goes anyway. So Let that's me know. A, a meeting with Julie Boursier tomorrow to do like mm -hmm. a survey of the you know inventory of okay. you know what, what she has on her that's it. on her plate or whatever what she the like the the not the information that she has mm -hmm. and then I'm going to try to gather as much information as I can and okay. you know um, let me know when you do know perfect and I'll be uh, I'll be I'll help you no problem. Fabienne, anything that you've heard that you are aware of that, you know, who, whomever's replacing you, have you been in contact with them? Yeah, well, so nobody is replacing me. And oh. uh, from what I've heard, there's construction happening at the center. And oh. I feel like not much else is happening. Oh. But I have a meeting with um, with a tutor for distance ed and ah, with okay. um, with mood as well on and shanna on okay. first day okay so we're having a, a meeting to discuss what's happening i don't know how many students we have like i think one big issue is at the center we have so few students that i don't know where they are mm -hmm. so I, I as far as i know nothing has happened yet okay no problem hi laura hello Hello. Laura is the teacher I was talking about from Lester B, from Place Cartier, right? Yes. And uh, Laura was uh, interested in working on uh, contemporary world with us in the working group. So I was just talking about that, telling, letting everybody know that we, we had something in mind and we wanted to start a working group. And we were just in the middle of asking if, you know, PED consultants knew teachers that were interested. So we're putting a few things down and looking at uh, looking at names right now. So Fabienne from uh, ETSB, Eastern Township, was just telling us all the way from France, telling us uh, what's going on at her school board and what's going on with distance ed. So um, anyway, so that's that's where we are right now, dear. So hold on, I will get back to you in a minute. So a meeting Thursday, Fabienne, you were saying. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. So okay. I guess we'll we'll have like more of a, an idea of what we're going to be working on. But I mean, we're just looking at the history courses. Mm -hmm. And the big question is, where are students right now? Where do we start? Perfect. And I'm Micheline and I are working meeting with uh, the teach the team from ETSB Friday during the PED day. 
So okay. we'll probably have a better idea as well on our end. More global for me, not just for history, but whatever you guys can come mm -hmm. up with, I will definitely be uh, listening just in case something comes out of the, uh, comes out Friday. But anyways, you can always let me know, just write me an email or something, or Shana can, sure. can do that. Yep. Super. Thank you very much. So Laura, your turn. How, is, how has the beginning of the year been for you? First been, of all, who are you? Tell us who you are. Tell us who you are. <laughs> for sure. So I'm teaching at uh, Place Cartier right now. I'm teaching financial education and contemporary world. I'm uh, completing my master's in teaching and learning right now. So that's almost done. But uh, yeah, the, it's, been, it's been going well so far. It's nice working with, uh, it's different working with adults than the youth sector, but I'm enjoying it so far. Good, 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 good. So um, as I was saying earlier, we are, we're looking into finding a way to get a group working together, especially for 5102, for uh, Contemporary World 5102. Uh, last year, Emily uh, had a working group going for a um, learning situation for ECM 5101, if I remember correctly, the numbers. And uh, so there are things, new things out there, newer things out there. But I think that there's... Um, there's a need for us to minimally revisit what's out there and see if we can maybe judge it up a bit and make it a little bit more 2022 uh, since it's been out there for four years almost already. Uh, people have things, you know, people have done things, prepared things, are teaching with the use of certain tools, uh, maybe even evaluating as well, because of course they need to. But what if we could do a little more with that or offer something that's a little bit newer, more updated? And that was the idea behind that working group. And we can sit down and look at what's out there, what's available for us, and then what we, if we want to go and work with that or bring something new to the table altogether. So that was the idea. But I'm glad to see you. It's nice to see you. Yes, I'm glad to We'll be, be working here. together for sure. We will be yeah. working together. If it's only the two of us, then no problem. It shouldn't yeah. be, though, because there's another uh, school board that's interested as well. Okay, so, perfect. I yeah. look forward to it. My concern, and I'll be I'll be very honest with you guys, this this year, last year with history coming down being the big concern and what was the most, I would say, anxiety provoking in uh, in, in, in terms of the teachers, uh, the preparation to teach it was my biggest concern. My biggest concern was that uh, this year, the uh, assistance is where I want to go with with history, helping people to implement and and really put it into uh, their everyday teaching and helping with that. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that the teachers who had to teach contemporary world and uh, financial education, instead of the other courses that were that they were maybe more comfortable with or already comfortable with, and had to now change to the new numbers and new codes, that they would have something to, to chew on, or at least they would have a part to play and maybe come up with uh, you know, an interest to work in in, uh, in groups with with material that would be adapted and maybe a little bit more updated with uh, new things, especially in this, in contemporary world with everything that's happened over the last few years. It may be interesting to revisit a few things that have happened in terms of conflict and tension and all, all those things. So uh, with COVID, <laughs> new things have happened. Uh, we're living with a, a new inflation, uh, a new inflation rate level right now. So they, there may be other things that we want to put in there and maybe uh, bring up to the table. So we'll see how it goes. But there, there is an interest. So that was something that I really, uh, I really wanted to look at. And that's why my first, my first uh, APC was more USO, like the whole gang to see what, what was out there. And I was saying that I was early in the game, but I wanted to make sure that if anyone wanted to come in and give their, uh, their you know, have their voice heard on their needs, that there would be a, an earlier uh, APC to do that. Because October sometimes can be a bit late in the game if you've been teaching it a few weeks and you're stuck with it and you're anxious about it. I didn't want to have anyone live that, uh, have that reality. So try to alleviate it as much as I could. If you don't mind, I mean, personally, I don't mind staying until until five uh, or ten thirty for Fabienne or eleven for Fabienne. Uh, but if you guys do want to leave early, do not feel like you have to stick around. It's not a problem at all. 
but I would like if you could to check uh, with uh, check with teachers if they did receive the right link. It may have been a, there may have been a glitch in, in the link with the new uh, the new tiles and the new uh, the new system that was the, the little things that were changed. Uh, maybe some people had a hard time uh, a hard time connecting, but there are also maybe uh, teachers that will re respond to you specifically or directly. Uh, with regard to their needs. So uh, there's a, something in the chat. So, okay. La boîte à histoire, la boîte à outils. Thank you very much, Emily, for that. Perfect. All right. So nothing specific, nothing else. I mean. All right. And as I said earlier, I will make sure to uh, to make the framework, the, the second uh, part of what we worked on in industry, available to, to as many people as possible. As soon as I speak to, Ch to Shanna, I will make sure that happens. So uh, yeah, so I feel bad keeping you uh, keeping you uh, keeping you here if you don't have any more uh, questions or if you, you don't have any more needs, specific needs uh, for us to address. Laura, I am not I'm not forgetting you as soon as I speak with my other um, the other uh, bed consultant I will get back to you and we will get something rolling for sure you are at the top of my list okay perfect I Thanks. promise I promise no problem all right so I'll get I'll get back in touch with you thank you for coming <laughs>